One. What a clever little shot, guys. And I think he's on the pink in the middle. Played the stun to the edge of the pack. He can pot the pink, but unfortunately, he's going to. I don't think he can apply the screw he needs as we see that clever little shot to hit the edge of the pack. The one below the black doesn't appear to pot in the right hand corner, and I don't know how he can get on in the left unless he really plays a deep screw shot, and that's uh, unlikely at this stage. I said unlikely, he tried it. And if he'd have brushed by the pack of reds, he would have been on that red, Seven. just below the black. Great effort. Mark Williams, seven. Didn't want the bump in the middle pocket, but it could have been worse. I might play a bit of a shot to nothing here with the plant at the top. Not too bad, actually. There's a couple of reds that are available, but neither of which he can get back to Bork. So the red that's tight on the right-hand side, cushion half ball off that, and that may free the black and get the cue ball in back up the table behind the brown spot area. He's looking at a possible shot to nothing, but I can't quite see how he can get around the back of the black. Well, he found one, didn't he? I didn't think he could see enough of that one. One. Shows you how well he's queuing. These are tough shots on here. Super fast loss just to get these dead weight. Ronnie O'Sullivan, one. Yep. I'm a bit surprised how poorly he's played it, but. You can definitely make a mess of those. Last thing you want to do with them is not reach. on the pink spot he could cut it very very thin and get back into Bork but he'd be pushing red towards the right hand corner so he's found an alternative I don't quite can't quite see from here which one it is and then he's got a shot where he can drop on the red on the, the top cushion off the side cushion if he wants but of course he didn't get that right he'd be leaving a red near the pink spot so what's he found here well, whatever it was, it was wrong. Black's come into play, but still out of commission. So I may have to work on the pink for a few shots. Just wondering whether that red is on the pink spot, so... You have to be careful. If you go straight for the pink, it's going to go in the middle of those two reds on the black spot, so that wouldn't be much good, eh? Well, that's tight. Yeah, it's a good point that, John. I don't know whether Ronnie's noticed that yet. And if he ha if it if that is the scenario, he might even take the blue or the brown or yellow. It's uh, it's difficult unless he plays a little cannon on the red that is on the pink spot now, which is on. I mean, that's as good as anything. Just nudge that red off the pink spot. Well, he feels that it's going on the black spots. <coughs> it's not going to cause a problem. I think Ronnie's made a mistake here. I don't think he's realised. Let's have a look at his face. Yeah, I don't think he realises. You see. Seven. A little bit annoyed with himself there. Two. 
it. Fourteen. Well, pink 25. and black being out of commission, but he's getting the right side of the blue all the time. Twenty-six. His touch is just quite remarkable. It really is. You see players here in two or three shots and they've lost position wrong side of the blue. He's always on the right side of it. Well, that could be the commentator's curse, couldn't it, after the next red? <coughs> You're under pressure here, John. 31. <laughs> Of two. Just. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Yeah, just left-handed folks. And he does hit the ball pure both handed. <laughs> Unbelievable. What an advantage that is. <laughs> Little bit of mileage in here and trying to just kiss the black, that would be that in his eye line. Because then it knows whatever kind of kiss he gets is gonna be on a red. So he's basically played it too well. He's gonna finish hampered. Beautiful shot that. Forty-three. Well, where pink and black were at the start of this break, it was hard to see him making one thirty, but he's on forty-three and counting. Just the one more loose red, the one in between pink and black, and that is absolutely perfect. Maybe the one below the pink pots as well. Forty-five. Forty-six. Just have to flick this red out if you can. No surprise, it's perfect. What a touch this boy has got. Honestly, this break 52. at the start of it. 53. Did it honestly look like he was going to win the frame off it? <laughs> I don't think so. 46 in front, pink 52, so obviously now is going to win the frame off it and uh, quite remarkable. But we all get excited about century breaks, but this has been as good as a century the way it's compiled this break. 60. Eleven reds, one yellow, one brown, five blues, five pinks. Three pinks, I should say, not five. Surely not. Not tight on the cushion, perfect. <laughs> Found the police. Found the police. Genius in the house. Just checking to see what colour he needs to make it. Oh, what a shame. He was checking. He looked, looked, looked up the scoreboard to see if he could make a century with the pink. Unfortunately, they've let the pink didn't go in. Ronnie O'Sullivan goes one away from victory and he leads 12 5.
Now, we thought that it was highly unlikely that Sir Mark Williams would be able to stage a comeback, but it's looking extremely doubtful. Now, can you just assess Ronnie O'Sullivan's mood, his demeanour, and indeed his form over the last couple of days for us, Steve? Well, it seems since he's been here uh, last week, uh, and don't forget this tournament's uh, over a week old now, um, but he's been in, in good shape mentally. Uh, his form looks superb. I've always felt that the um, second week of the tournament is where the players that seem to be the runners and riders for the final stages start to show a bit of form and it would appear obviously anything can happen in any one match it would appear that Ronnie O'Sullivan is in the type of form that can win his world championship for him. Yes, yeah, chasing his first world title since 2008